Right, well, here we are. This is Amazon MTurk experiment video number eight, I think, for today, in which we're going to talk about how to simplify the log of 100. Now, this is a little different than the previous videos because we actually don't have a base at all of this logarithm. So this actually implies some sort of a prior knowledge of some secret set of rules about logarithms. Nice thing is a secret set of rules isn't quite so secret. If ever you see log written like this, just L-O-G, you know that that's log by definition to the base 10. If you see this expression like this, L-N, we know this is log to the base e, or log to the base 2.7 or so. Now, this aside, if we know that it's log to the base 10, we basically wind up finding ourselves in the question of how many times do we multiply 10 by itself to get 100. Multiplication table says 10. Let's show it here. So we'll start with y is equal to log of 100. The way we solve this is we know then 10 to the y is equal to 100. So 10 times 10 or 10 squared is equal to 100. y equals 2. Very, very uh, clear example. Uh, just based on the fact that uh, 10 times 10 is equal to 100. Uh, it's, um, if we look at this expression here, and we remember that there should be a 10 down here, we can see essentially that this base here the base of the logarithm, and then the base of this exponent. That doesn't exactly look quite like an exponent, but it actually is 10 squared is the same. So yet another way of looking at this problem is actually rewriting the exponent in its entirety. If we go and we take log to the base 10 of 100, we are saying essentially it is log to the base 10 of 10 to the second power. Now we can see 10 and 10, they cancel out, yielding two. That's another way of looking at the problem. That's the way that I look at the problem. I'm not entirely certain whether a math teacher at the most basic level would accept that as an answer. But I think this is the more intuitive way of looking at a problem like this. So if we see something similar like this in the future, like, for example, log to the base 2 of 4, same exact thing, we can see log to the base 2 of 2 squared is the same exact kind of a thing as log to the base 10 of 10 squared. Both of those, of course, are equal to 2. That's the basic idea behind this sort of a concept. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.